The lighting is a little weird in my art room because it's cloudy outside. Let me turn a few more lights on, hang on. Did that help or no? Helped a little bit, I don't know. Forehead's still shiny. Um, to another month of for 2020 what we've been calling project pan art supply style and we are going to continue something similar into 2021 um, and we're going to use the hashtag use it or lose it um, for 2021 we're going to air a video i'm hoping for like around the 15th or so every month and we're going to review um in the prior month what we used up or what we decided to let go because we're not going to use it and all of those things. So for the end of 2020 up until today, and today is the 6th of January, I should know this, um, I have a pile of stuff to show you. And one of my reasons for filming this so early um, and not waiting a few more days is because my box, my discard box is just completely jammed and overflowing and dropping everywhere. Um, and I have a few other things I want to go over with you, including the, something about this box. But we're going to start with the discard box first. So I am really trying to let go of most of my craft kind of paints. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. I just find that most of the time I'm not doing crafty things. I'm, I'm using them in my art journals. And if they are your traditional craft paint um, or more inexpensive sort of journaling paints, they are a satin or glossy shiny finish when they're dry and anybody who's done a lot of art journaling knows that those are the kind of paints that stick to each other when you close your journal you have to coat them with clear gesso or wax pages or something and I've just found that it's easier to get a matte finish paint um, you don't have to generally do any of those things to it when you close the journal when it's dry and it's easier to draw over and doodle over um, because of the matte finish. So um, I, I have been transitioning um, to those paints um, for about a month or more now. And one, two, three, four, five, six, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. And this one, which is stuck. Ah, 48. <laughs> That have got to go. I also have a container of modeling paste that is so dry. It's so dry. It's oh, it's a rock. It's not reconstitutable. It's got to go. I have been saving paint skins from acrylic pores. I have so many of these now, and I've saved some really pretty ones that, are, that I'm going to use to make jewelry or something. These have got to go. Nobody in their right mind is going to want them there. The color of mud. And then we have a few things that I'm going to put in a purge box that I'm going to let go of, but that I don't want to throw away. Okay, when I've done these purge boxes in the past, they've been primarily art supplies with a little bit of art thrown in. Um, right now, going forward, <laughs> um, until I get rid of what I need to get rid of, they are going to be primarily artwork and things from the Etsy shop with a little bit of supplies thrown in. So it's gonna be, the balance will be shifted the other way. Um, I'm gonna open that other box that's open and shove some artwork in it if I can. Um, that's the one with the Xyron in it and the large Xyron and it, I still have that box. And um, if anybody wants it, um, it's got the large Xyron in it and I think one refill of something, I don't remember what. Um, Anyway, the supplies I wanted to get rid of that were in the discard box, there are some printouts. So, you know, when I'm working on artwork or printing things for the Etsy shop or uh, doing things for the Etsy shop, I need to print a sample to photograph. And so I have some Skyscape photographs. I'm going to put them in the bottom. I've got some random um, pictures 
memes, pictures of artwork, um, cutouts of some of my little things that actually at some point turned into stickers. Some collage paper books. Does anybody remember back in Crazy Island Family when we did these sort of matchbooks of collage papers? I have so many of these. What I've been doing, I've saved them all. I've been going through them and I've been using um, what I can and I'm inspired to out of them. And if there's anything left like in this one and I've shoved a few things in the back, I'm going to put the, the rest of it in a purge box so somebody else can use it rather than throw it away. Um, these are some similarly liked items um, that I made out of greeting cards. And so I would take an old Christmas card and a bunch of random packaging papers and found papers and sew them in and make sort of a little collage paper book that I would tear bits out of when I'm working in my journals. Um, this is one that I've used as much as I want to out of it. And there's actually a piece of a paper bag in here that I'm gonna just tuck in. And so that's gonna go in here. Um, snowflake cutting waste. <laughs> so much of this from this December daily. So that's going in here along with some snowflakes that I didn't use. So those are going in here. Some magnetic bookmarks, a picture frame, two little books I made out of um, yoga for your brain, um, Zen tangle cards. Um, and this is original edition and totally tangled edition. You know what? I haven't used these in years. And most of the time, if I want to do some sort of Zen tangly kind of thing, you can just look it up on Pinterest. I don't need to have these in my art room, so they can go away. Some winter scrapbooking papers from, again, the December daily that I pulled out what I want and the rest is gonna not ever probably be used, so it needs to go. Um, a little journal that needs to go because I'm not gonna use it. And some, um, a package of bits and pieces that were in the box for the December daily. Um, some wrapping paper, some ribbons, some stickers, some die cuts, some little bits of paper, painted paper that I'm not going to use. And I'm so the whole pack is going in there. So I have some watercolor paintings I'm going to put in this one from an online class that I don't really teach anymore. They're the samples. I've got some stencils. These are original stencils that I made that when I first started making stencils, these are cut out of plastic folders. Um, some cut by hand, some cut with my silhouette, which I no longer own. I'm going to let these go. Okay, so we've got some artwork, original artwork of mine from 2008, 2009, different things. We'll put a couple of them in here. In, in the box without the Zyron because there's more room in there. There's all pen drawings, uh, all kinds of things. So you can see more about this purge and what's in here in uh, the vlog for the week of January. Um, third until the ninth, I think. I'll put the link below. Okay. Right. okay. We've got some ribbon and trims. This is the same kind of trim I use for tote bag handles when I remade uh, my daily drawing bag into a tote bag. Um, again, I'll link the video down below. I use this uh, exact. Um, trim to make the handle. So it's been in the Etsy store for a while and it hasn't sold. I'm going to put one in the box of the Zyron. I'm going to put the rest in the other box because it's got way more room. Um, I also have some large, some wide grow green ribbon. I think this box is just about full. Okay. I have some metal some um, cut metal, these were cut by my dad. There's a star shape and then some letters. This journal book from Flo by Flora Bowley that I've never used. It's been in my collection a really long time. It's a beautiful book filled with some of her artwork. It's really a gorgeous book. 
um, and um, with space to do some writing and journaling. So following her prompts. So um, that's gonna go in the, in the box. Again, I'll try to link it down below. Um, and I didn't have a jelly plate, so I used a piece of acrylic. Really long story, you can watch the video. I didn't know what a jelly plate was. And um, I made a few prints that way, and I have all of them up until now. So this is one that is gonna be, it's a signed dated print, uh, one, one of one, and it is a blue nude, and this is from 2012. I don't know if I can get these in here. There are some big portraits. Does anybody remember when I did the portrait um, painting with my toes? So I don't know if I can get these in here because these, I don't think these are gonna roll. But I have some really big, there's some water, abstract watercolor landscape, I mean, acrylic landscapes. There's some portraits on burlap. Oh, here's some more small ones. Oh, there's a whole bunch of small ones, hold on. So there are some pencil drawings. There's another practice nude that I did at a later date. These aren't from the original batch. And they're not, some of this work is signed and some of it's not signed. And to be honest, there's so much of it, I really don't have, uh, I'm not gonna be able to go back and sign the stuff that's not signed. So hopefully you're all okay with that. Some of it's good, some of it's not so good, that's not so good. Some of it you're gonna wanna get and cut, maybe just cut up for a journal page, uh, cover, paint over it. I don't know what you're gonna wanna do with it. Okay, found some stuff. This is alcohol um, inked um, clear plastic that I use for all kinds of mixed media purposes. So we're gonna let that go. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know I do a lot of art paper clips. So I actually have some packs of some of the paper clips I use. We're gonna put a few, um, I'm gonna make a, a third box. So we're gonna put a few in each box. I'm gonna set some aside. I also have some art brittle, which is clear um, resin filled with glitter and um, metallic foil flakes um, and things and different like kind of broken pieces that you can again use on uh, mixed media or your journals or paper clips. So I have a bunch of those. So I'm going to put a couple of those in this box, and I do have some more, and we're going to save those for the third box that I'm going to make. I have a journal that I made out of this zipper case and it has some um, a couple of uh, is it just one or two no two collage journal pages done by me and then more lots more blank pages with room for a few supplies you can um, very easily make it into a travel art case that's gonna go in one of the boxes here's a journal I made a long time ago this is one of the first journals I made and um, I've never put anything in it. It's been in the Estee shop for a while. It hasn't sold. It's gonna go in one of these boxes. Um, it looks like this. It has a long string to tie it. And um, does anybody remember me making this? It is made with envelopes. I think I got the idea from Shannon Green. There's tons of journaling spots and tuck spots and all kinds of things. So that's gonna go in. And the cover is um, sewn by me, and I think that this is like dyed baby wipes, if I remember correctly. Okay, so we're gonna package the paint the same way I did when I moved, um, which I tried to put like colors together. So if something did leak, it wasn't a big deal. I screwed the lids down really tight, and then I put no more than three in a Ziploc bag together and sealed that shut tight, it is. Now, for these kind of flip top deco art paints, what I found when I moved was the best thing was to, of course, make sure it's on all the way, put a little piece of tape so it doesn't flip open, and then put it in the bag. And that, for the most part, I think I only had, out of all the hundreds of bottles of paint, and that's no exaggeration, I think I only had like one or two leak. So I have this journal, which has been made from a Carlos Bakery box, if you are familiar with their um, T 
TV show and they have a bakery in Las Vegas and I came home with um, uh, the box. We've eaten the sweets, of course, and I filled it with, um, and this is hard for me to let go of. I'll have you know, it's been in the Etsy shop a long time, but, and I enjoyed making it, but I'm probably never going to put anything in it, but I used some things from my grandmother's collection, um, including some note paper with her name on it. And um, there are some paint swatch, like there's a lot of tuck spots here. And this tuck spot has like a paint swatch booklet in it. And it's all in the red and white checkered theme, like the original bakery box. There is some coffee dyed paper, some music, music paper. I do know how to make junk journals. I just choose not to. <laughs> Um, there's, you know, prescription bag and all kinds of things in here. Um, some paper clips and different, different things. So anyway, that's going to go in one of the boxes. Part of the Canvas Corp design team. I made this journal as part of the design team. And um, um, yeah, this has been in the Etsy shop also a long time. Oh, it's been in the bag so long that the bag is ripping. We'll just take it out of the bag. Um, and it looks like this. And it again is filled with different kinds of scrapbook papers and painting papers, envelopes. It's got tuck spots and like all, all of the things, some burlap pages. So yeah, I'm gonna put this in a new bag. This is a slow stitch paper clip. We're going to include that. Who remembers this? Did y'all know I wrote a book? It's actually available from me signed, but it's also available in Amazon. Um, my version that you get from me is spiral bound. Um, it is a journal intended to spark your creativity and your journey and ask you questions and it tells you like stories about my journey on one side and leaves you space to create art or write, write your thoughts or something on the other side. I'm going to include one copy in each box. So when I was cleaning out the artwork, I found a bunch of painting papers. We're going to, we're going to put these in here. Some of these are painted on newsprint. Some of these are painted on drawing paper, different kinds. Some of them are good. Again, good, some good, some bad, but you know, you can use them for all kinds of things. So we're going to stuff the top of the box with that. I'm going to seal these three boxes. They will be available in my Etsy shop. And uh, yeah, I think some of this really big artwork, really, really big artwork. Oops, some file folders. They'd be great for journal covers, um, abstract landscape paintings. There's a couple of them. Anybody remembers when I painted this portrait with my toes on YouTube. There's two other sort of abstracted portraits and then some portraits on burlap. I have a really big padded mailer envelope. I'm gonna see if I can get all these in here. Hopefully they're not too big. Otherwise, to be honest with you, I'm tempted to Throw them away or cut them in half. I know some of you are like cringing, but it has got to go. These burlap ones are really big. But they fit. Ha ha! Okay, so if you just want a little bit of artwork, and I'm gonna put a paper clip in here. Then I do have this big padded mailer. Let's grab a paper clip to stick in there. And here we go, this one is cute. This one has a little image in the background of a jar from my Etsy shop and it says stay grounded in your power. Holy cow, people. Use it or lose it, it's the theme this, month, this year. Um, you know, it doesn't do you any good to like take up space in your art room and just sit there for eternity. If you're not going to use it and create art with it, then maybe it needs to go to somebody who, did, who will. That's my theory anyway. All right. 
That's it for today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Support your favorite content creators, whether they're here on YouTube or over in um, the Facebook art groups. Find out how you can support them, whether it's shopping in their Etsy star store or they have a PayPal um, tip jar or they have a Patreon or something like that. Find out how you can support them and do that. Um, I do have two Facebook groups that you can join and an Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram. Um, my, all my links for all of that stuff are in the video description in the link tree list of links. So check out the video description. Look at it carefully. Any links that I've promised you will also be down there. If I forget something, let me know in the comments and I'll fix it. Um, you can also, if you're attached to me over in the Facebook art groups or on Instagram, you can private message me if you have a question. And uh, that's it for today. Please stay safe, stay creative, stay healthy. Please wear your mask and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.